This is women's beach volleyball, and this is men's beach volleyball. Teammates in Olympic beach volleyball must wear uniforms of the same color, and they must be numbered one and two. The women can wear either a one-piece, two-piece bathing suit, shorts, sleeved, sleeveless tops, or a full body suit in cold weather. Due to the typically warm playing conditions, most opt to wear a two-piece. The fact of the matter is that most female athletes in competition are choosing to wear the clothing that they wear because they believe it gives them a competitive advantage of some sort. Even this whole Nike tracksuit outrage, the one with the lack of coverage that went viral, is just an option female track and field athletes have. There are close to 50 unique track and field uniform options, including the new viral leotard, both men and women. Athletes will get the chance to choose their outfit or combination of outfits to match their style and personal preference the best, Nike wrote. And I understand how this may be hard for somebody who's never competed to understand, but competitors, male or female, tend to not give two shits about how revealing their clothes are. As an example, this is what I wore when I competed in MMA. You think my bros didn't give me shit for those Daisy Dukes? Do you think I cared? No, because it helped me win. And not to be all reverse sexism guy, but I don't see male pole vaulters having the opportunity to do their sport in a pair of Speedos. If they were allowed to, it would have made this story a lot more interesting. 